Hi, I'm Seth Rotenberger, and today I am going to show you how to utilize the structures and room commands to get more information from a building using NX's BIM. I am going to replace this component with one that uses structures when being built. I have already imported the predetermined geometry, so I can easily create the building. I'm going to use the structure library to add material properties to my building. Let's start with the exterior wall. I'm going to select polyethylene to simulate insulation in the walls. Half an inch of insulation is required in this wall. Next, I am going to use 6061 aluminum to simulate piping inside these walls. Here, one inch is required. I now need 9.5 inches of cast in place concrete. We now need to generate the structure of interior walls. These walls will also be made of cast in place concrete, but this time with a width of 4.75 inches. I am going to repeat the same process again, but this time with the floors and a thickness of 9.5 inches. Now that we have these structures created in the structure library, I can add these properties to the features that we create. I select the outside curve of the wall and have the wall reach the third level. I can add those previously created properties. Here, we need exterior concrete wall. I'm going to create a floor on the first floor. Here, I select the concrete floor structure. Let's create a second floor, this time on the second level. Again, we use the concrete floor structure. The interior walls now need to be created. Just like any other wall, I will select the edges, making sure single curve and stop at intersection are selected. I again use the properties and select the interior concrete wall. You can see these walls are half the thickness of the exterior ones, which is what we decided when we added it to the structure library. Now, I am going to use the room command to classify different rooms in the building. I can easily select the room and then change the name. This room will be the control room. Different colors can be added to easily differentiate between the different rooms. Let's repeat the process for the rest of the rooms. This one will be a storage room. I make sure to select a different color than before. Here, we have the side room. This one is the piping room. The final room is the main floor, where the machinery is located. We can use the room report to get information from these rooms. I'm using the second level because that's where these rooms are located. The areas for each of these rooms is shown in an Excel document. Let's add some materials that would be used for the flooring. Both the storage and piping room would use vinyl, and the control room and side room have linoleum. The main floor would be concrete. This is very helpful for knowing the quantities of material that would need to be ordered for an application. Let's finish off this design by adding a roof. If we head back into the power plant assembly, these changes updated to create our building. Let's recap what you have seen. 
You saw me create multiple structures in the structure library and then create a building with these properties. I then specify different rooms in the building and output the areas into an Excel file. You then saw me select different materials for the rooms and quickly customize them for our application. You saw me add a roof and saw the updates in the PowerPoint assembly. I would like to thank you for your time and attention.